Hello and welcome to um, a tutorial on how to install zombie mod, single player mods, and too many items. Uh, first things first, though, um, I'm gonna do like three different tutorials on how to do each one of them, as each will be much easier to do uh, rather than doing all of them in one video. So first things first, you want to open up your Minecraft. Go to your options and then the force update. This will make a fresh new start to your Minecraft. It will clean up all any little teeny mini bits and all sorts. So we'll wait for that to do. Um, the first mod that we'll do is single player commands. We'll do that first. But before we do any of that, I need to tell you something. If you've got any HD texture packs, either John Smith, Finley Pack, your box, what you need to do is you'll need to close Minecraft and then open MC Basher. This is how I do it. What this does, the reason why you need to patch your game first is because it's basically patching, it's actually patching your game. So, if you install the mod, then do your MC patcher to make your HD tissue pack look good again, you'll lose all your mods. Right. Next thing you want to do is you need to go to your dot Minecraft, you need to go to your bin, and then you don't need this, go away. I'll show you to do that in a minute. That should be with single player. Okay. Um, then you'll need to oh, click on Minecraft, left click, right click, open with WinRAR, Archive, or whatever you want to use. Then, what you want to do is open up single player. You need to extract these and cut with all of these different ones. Now, what you're going to do is make this window a bit bigger you wanna click on every single class folder apart from readme and world edit as these are not class files then what you can do is just simply click and drag over to your .minecraft and click OK this makes all the mods be able to work. However, they haven't finished quite yet. Next thing you can do is close down my draft or jar, you don't need it anymore. Go to your other one. So you should be in your bin still. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on world edit. This will be this all will be in the same folder, so if there's anything missing you've probably downloaded something wrong right then you're going to get world edit this one and drag it over to your bin this makes the single player commands able to use world edit that you may see in multiplayer so after that you can close that down open up minecraft and make sure it works now so we log in So far, there's no black screen, so that's good. Go on single player, go for testing ground. Or we should go for recording because I'm recording anyway. But I'm doing tests, so play. Right, loading level. Right, as you can see, it's definitely worked as it's come up with single player commands at the bottom 2.10 underscore 1. And it come up with a, um, like a link. Now to make the commands work, what you have to do is press T and then um, like in multiplayer where you type in a slash and then give item whatever you can you don't need to do it for single player as you're not really doing it through server commands so you can just type in like um, say I dirt 
give you 64 already. Now there are other commands that you can do. Now I might as well just show you anyway about how to use them as well, how to install and how to use. So um, you can do simple stuff with. Uh, we'll first go through single player commands. So we'll go for something like um, instant mine. This it basically turned into sort of like a super pickaxe for um, multiplayer. However, all you have to do is just click it with anything, and it's pretty much done. So yeah, that's pretty much done. So and just for the laugh, you can actually go all the way down. I can't be bothered. Okay, another thing. If you want to. You'll see it says instant mine now on. You can just put instant mine again and it'll come and it'll say off. A cool command that I found was something called Atlantis. Now, what this does is make you. You obviously you see water puddles, but look, as you can see, look, cows are floating everywhere. You're basically underwater. So now we're going to turn off. Atlantis. And then they're killing themselves. Yeah. Anyway, um, so Atlantis basically makes you um, underwater, even though you're on air, and you won't die because you're not drowning, technically speaking. Anyway, um, what else is there to show you? Um, this is. I think there's something called instant plant. I'll find out instant plant. That is on um, instant grow is off. Okay, I think you just like. I don't know what you do with instant plant. You'll be able to find out yourself. What I'll do is um, I'll find the website where I found all the commands and literally copy everything and to so you don't have to go to different websites. However, I will post the link if it is necessary. Like right at the top, and then I'll post all the commands. So I've given you a slight taste of what it is, and um, I'll give you one last thing, which is something that's life. Fox uses quite a lot, which is what you do is max stack space all 64. This makes you able to stack items that you don't usually do, like swords and stuff, but you want to stack swords anyway. More like for food, because food is a single item, and the reason why it is is because you can't really hold six pieces of like apple in your hand or 64 however you can't even hold 64 pieces of dirt so I think it's more of a singular variety item including if you've got like something like a bucket if you were to have 64 and then put in a piece of water and then separate them you'll just get all water buckets can be quite annoying just in case you actually don't want that much right time for world edit part World Edit is basically seen through making massive uh, stuff. So, if we type in fly, so now I'm flying hopefully. Yeah, fly. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to press T. Okay, there's this thing, um, you can do many different things. I'm going to do fill R. We're going to do. Hmm. Water. I'm going to do a radius of five, and boom. No command found. Oh, this is world edit. Oh, I've got world edit. You actually do need your um, dashes. So you need two dashes for this. Fill our water five. And what it does is it uses the world edit to create sort of like something like that now that's usually stuff like this is usually to fill in holes 
or deep hole so I me and a few friends like to call Turner Holes because one of the friends called Turner decides to like dig straight down which is kind of like a rule that you should not a rule that you should obey like no no digging straight down always you like die out the time but it's all luck so who cares right another thing I managed to find out if you do H sphere basically meaning hollow sphere you can create any type of block so we'll say glowstone and then we'll do um, 5 and 5 5 is the height so it's like 5 radius well I don't know but if we click on it we're basically in a massive ball so what we're going to do is we're going to go out There it is, a perfect shaped ball. Slightly. Right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to create something that I found was quite very interesting. This is actually quite helpful, including if you want to make perfect towers on your Minecraft. Two slashes, and then you're going to put HCYL, shortened for hollow cylinder. Then you can put like We'll do glowstone again, and then we're going to put 10 and 50, boom. There's sort of a good understanding of, hang on, let me just get over it. Let me go show you from down here, past the cloud. And there it is. It's like a massive tower structure thingy we want. So that's pretty much like a rough guess on how single player commands work. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Like, favorite, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And uh, thank you for watching.